Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie, which is all about integrating your IoT devices with your preferred home automation ecosystem. My videos is all about using platforms like Hoops or Homebridge together with their plugins to integrate these devices. The most important thing here is to get the same rich home automation experience by spending less. So please do take a look and don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button. First things first, Yeelight hasn't sponsored this video and since we are on our quest to integrate our not so certified IoT devices into Apple HomeKit, in today's video we will integrate the Yeelight Meteorolite LED Dining Light into Apple HomeKit. Now, Yeelight new products do natively support the Apple Home Kit, but there are previous old generation products that do not support it. But fortunately, we do have a plugin that does the job and brings that integration into Apple Home Kit. For all of this to work, we will need firstly a Yeelight device. In my case, I'm using the uh, Meteorolite LED light. Your preferred home automation uh, platform, in my case, I'm using Hoops, but this is also applicable to Homebridge as well. For this plugin installation, we will only need the LAN enabled. Uh, this can be done in the plugin, which I will show. I've broken down this video into three parts together with their timestamps in the description. They are one, a product overview, very quick uh, uh, technical specs and um, uh, the features of the product. Two, uh, how to install the device into the uh, app. Three, the plugin uh, installation and configuration. So let's not waste time and let's jump into this. This is a very chic lighting fixture, perfect for every meal with a multi-color lighting ambience and adjustable color temperature. And it brings along with a simple installation process. Clean industrial design, giving you that immersive lighting experience. Brings a minimalist design style with clean lines. Variable color temperature and brightness. Overhead 7 watt RGB lights. Here's additional information on the product plus technical specs which you can pause and go through in detail. So let's now install the device in the Yeelight app and uh, do the configuration before we go into the uh, plugin install. Let's open up the Yeelight app, hit add device, select Kristen Pendle light, reset your device. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, it says to turn off and turn on five times. And uh, uh, once it shows a static uh, white light, uh, the device has been reset. Tap next step, select your network uh, and add in the password. And uh, it shows up the fixture over here. Let's say next step. Give it a couple of seconds for it to connect to your network. And uh, you'll see it flashing just like this. Make sure you have an active internet connection because it tends to connect the uh, connect to the uh, Yeelight uh, cloud services to integrate the device into your app. So it takes time uh, as well in this integration. If for any reason the uh, connection stops, please re uh, go back and reset the device and keep adding it until it uh, adds into your server device. Tab next step. Now this is a very important feature called LAN control. If you do not enable this LAN control, then you are not able to integrate it successfully with the plugin. So make sure you have this enabled. So there we are, we can uh, turn it on. If you tap on it, we can decrease, increase the brightness. Uh, we can also select the different color temperatures from cool to warm. And also we can select uh, the ambi light to different colors as well. So you can decrease and increase as well. So you can shift 
between those colors as desired. So we have successfully installed the device in the app. Now let's go into uh, the Hoops platform, install the plugin and bring this device into uh, Apple HomeKit. Let's log in. Search. Let's type Yeelight. Select the first plugin. Hit install. So we have the plugin uh, already installed and the bridge service has uh, started. So if you go through the configuration, there's nothing to be changed. Leave it as it is. If you want to override some parameters, uh, you can go and uh, do that from the uh, support page that I've added to the description. So let's open up Apple Home app and if you see over here it's available show controls and you can turn it on so this independently uh, turns on both sides that's the uh, lower side the lower side and the upper side and you can also increase and decrease the brightness and change colors as well and all, also you can show them as separate tiles If you turn off the uh, main light, it also turns off the ambient light. If you turn it on, it turns on both. Or you can also turn on just the ambient light and select uh, the colors as well. Okay. So uh, this plugin is a work in progress. If you do see this overwriting of colors happening, it's still a work in progress. So uh, one of the uh, recommendations is select your colors, save it as a scene and uh, add it. If you go to the uh, plugin, you can also uh, tweak some of the features, but uh, I highly recommend it to leave it as it is. Finally, there we are. Collaboratively, we've added the device into Apple HomeKit. Very simple plugin. Uh, no IP address is just uh, enabling one feature that is the LAN control. So please make sure whenever you're adding the old devices of Yeelight into Apple HomeKit, you, this feature is uh, enabled. Now to keep all of this going, don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button. That's a real driver. That's a real motivator. Yeah, if you have any doubts, uh, also do uh, uh, put down your comments. I'll be glad to assist uh, and help you uh, in getting your automation up and running. To keep also all of this going, I've also added three links in the description. Uh, uh, if you want to get your hands on this device, uh, I put that link from AliExpress. Uh, it helps me uh, uh, with the channel. And also if you want to get your hands on with uh, the hoops out of the box or the SD card, so I've got the links there. A one-stop shop solution for your home automation. So if you want one, please feel free to use that link and get your hands on one of those devices. And not forgetting the uh, developers out there who make all of this uh, available for us and all of this possible for us. So uh, don't feel shy to go to their GitHub page, uh, click on that start button, and uh, it also is their uh, drive and motivator as well. So until the next time, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers, and happy automation.